Matters. More than 300 alumni are expected to descend on Fort Hood this weekend, all for alumni events, and their families are also joining in on the party. The first Cav Division Alumni Association hosted an event today, allowing people to harness their creativity with a brush and palette. Channel 6 military reporter Jillian Angeline explains. Every brush stroke helps paint a picture, just as every story shared builds a better friendship. Uh, both colors. A little bonding right. with the girls. We can commiserate a little bit once in a while, but you know, it's fun to talk about just life. The first Cavalry Division Alumni Association hosted a painting with a twist party in Harker Heights for First Cav veteran spouses and some of their family members. The reunion coincides with First Cav Week on Fort Hood. They were um, by the side of their husbands while they endured, you know, um, the trenches of war. They're the backbone. My son is actually in the Marines, and so I know as a mother and as a wife, you know, there's so much for us to do when the spouses are gone. But it's not just military spouses who play a large role in the military. Jessica Shuley's father was in the 1st Cav Division Horse Detachment. She painted a Texas country scene alongside her sister and stepmom. It's just important to like continue building that community and like showing that support um, because it is difficult growing up in a military community um, and it has like residual effects after the fact too. Reunions are key because time is just passing too fast, says one spouse. Some of the men that, you know, that were coming in, you know, you all picture them as the last time you saw them or long ago, and we're all changing so much. As the 1st Cav Division creates a portrait of memories this week. That was Jillian Angeline reporting. There are alumni events all weekend long, including war era lunches and a dinner after the Spirit of the Cav event tomorrow. Curtis.